morning guys, hope you're all doing great. Today's episode will be different from the ones you're used to. You may be wondering why the suit, while well, my work is sending me off on a mission to Dublin. A lady will unfortunately not be in this episode and I'll get to get all of you with me. Let's take off. I've just landed in Dublin and I haven't had a proper breakfast this morning. So what I have today is a beautiful burger from TBK. Jan, you promised that we're gonna have some Irish food. It's Irish cheddar, beautiful and huge burger. It's a gigantic slice of Irish cheddar. There's some lettuce, salad, pickles, and house mayo in there. Let's get a bite. is good, a bit salty, and the meat is a bit dry. It's balanced by the thick slice of tomato. It's so messy! You get some of this rice, I love sweet potato rice, and with that bacon sauce, and bacon is bacon sauce, very good, tasty, porky. We have some garlic mayo here, the garlic mayo is to die for. I'm going to take it, but be honest with you, first meal in Dublin, check. Just an experience, not the best GBK I had. Now I just have to get to the office, get to work, and I'll see you guys later. Let's see what great food I can find here in Dublin. I'm done with work today. I'm in a church. I've heard you could have some great Irish stew in the church here. I just got my IPA. <laughs> yeah, it smells very hoppy. Mm, it's so refreshing. So hoppy. I'm having an Irish stew full of lamb. It's very tender. It's very really tender. You don't even need a knife. There's some celery and root vegetables. The taste is very simple. As far as one of these potatoes. I think I'm going to eat a lot of potatoes in Dublin. There's also a bit of pastry to complement the dish. Mm. It's very flaky. I mean, it is very flaky. It's a pastry. There's some spring onions. And it's a bit of lamb. It's delicious. I'm going to rinse it down some formidable IPA. I'm glad to the Irish too. Apologies if I'm closer to the camera than usual. The table is very small, that's why I had to put the tripod very close to my face. So bad it is. It's a very good and very simple stew with this rainy weather. Fantastic. So that was day one of our trip. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Different day in Dublin. It got a bit chilly today. Plan is to try to get some food. Let's go. I found a few interesting places to eat, but uh, I think I'm going to get to a French restaurant tonight. It's called La Maison, and they serve French onion soup and uh, coco vin as well. Hopefully, they will have a table for me. I managed to get the table. It's not too busy at the moment. They did not have the onion soup I was hoping for, but they did have some shrimp soup. So I started here, which is a prawn bisque. It's a very thick soup with prawn. It smells delicious. It's very strong. And it's very creamy as well. There's also a huge fried prawn. Oh, it's fantastic. What's the size of it? It's big because most of it is butter, but it's so good. Mm. Fantastic. Let me try this with the bread. Come on. This is great, so uh, I should be much better now. Mm. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. A nice little soup. I just reset my cocova. Mm. This looks fantastic. This dish has been cooked in an oven in a small cocotte. The little pan has been sealed with pastry on the side. I'm wondering if I can have a piece of this. Ah, it's for pastry. It's very buttery. It's steamy. It was cooked in this little cocotte. Oh la la. Yeah, that looks lovely. The sauce. The sauce is a bit thick. Oh, yeah. And the potato mash. It's a bit creamy. Okay, let's put some of the sauce on the mashed potato. 
because it gives me this portion of mashed potato drizzling sauce. Mm. Oh, love the mashed potato and a piece of pork belly. Have you seen the side of this? Oh. Mm. It's good. Let's try this chicken. To be fair, the chicken is a little bit dry, but the sauce is great. The sauce is awesome. I'm the chicken. Mm. Mm. This bit was juicy. I think it's because it was drenched in sauce. Mm. And the mashed potato. Mm. There's some pasta in there. Oh. Awesome. That's a nice attention for the dessert. I have uh, a huge block of dark chocolate and a small block of white chocolate. Try not to make a mess. Oh, nice piece of chocolate here. <laughs> this restaurant is called La Maison, which means home. So I may be far from home, but I think I found home here in Dublin. Food was great, service was excellent. I uh, totally recommend that you have a look here. So good night and I'll see you on the next meal. Hi guys, tonight is my last night here in Dublin. Uh, for the past few days I've had great food. Unfortunately I wasn't able to film everything, but I've had great breakfast, awesome noodles for lunch, and a few great places for dinner as well. And there's one thing I haven't tried here in Ireland yet, and that is Irish beef. So I'm looking for a place called Buff, which means beef in French. I believe it was owned by Hugh Hefner from Playboy. I think I found a place. This beef has a huge pork. Probably like the owner. Sour, you have a and a tiny flavor. How cool is this? Thank you. Wow. It's a beautiful piece of free buy with a slice of fork around top and some peppercorn sauce. <laughs> Ooh, nice piece of beef. Dip in some sauce, some brandy and peppercorn sauce. Let's try this. Try that. Tasty. Beefy. The power is melting. Oh, I love the taste. Just a bit of pogra. No sauce. Oh, there's my fries. Oh, there. Oh, this looks awesome. These are potatoes with broccoli cheese. Oh, this cheese. Awesome. Oh, this melted cheese. Unbelievable. Next up, some of these beautiful broccoli cheese potatoes. <laughs> Coming up, my favorite potatoes and uh, cheese. <laughs> Progress good, but the cheese is mind blown. Awesome. <laughs> There's a bit of caramelized onion as well. Very sweet, small beef. It's not the most tender ribeye beef I've had in my life. But it's okay. The highlight of tonight is definitely the texture. Mm -hmm. And shootings down from the red wine. Nice. Guys, check out this place. Food's awesome. And I definitely recommend you get the potatoes with uh, raclette cheese. Raclette cheese and potatoes. Mmm, awesome. Awesome. That's it for this solo yum yum adventure in Dublin, guys. I hope you liked it. Leave a comment below. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. And this time with Lily. I'm going back in London uh, tomorrow. 
and I uh, can't wait to see her. See you guys. Peace. Bye. I've had potatoes in most of my meals here in Dublin. I feel a little bit like my demon in the motion. And I've definitely put on some weight. I'm taking more space on the screen now, no? Yeah.